hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're just going to do a follow-up video on a video we had done recently and i want to thank everybody for the feedback we were talking about the finds that the some of the new finds that the government has put into place and we were saying that some of the finds are a bit excessive and I noticed, read the feedback, that a lot of persons seem to agree with the facts. So I just wanted to, based on the feedback we got, just wanted to clarify some things. Okay, now, if you were never issued a driver's license, that means you never went to the depot and you were never issued a driver's license, and the police stop you the fine for that is forty thousand dollars that is driving without a driver's license that fine is forty thousand and i agree with persons that fine should be a lot higher it should be even like a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and if you're operating a commercial vehicle it should even be two hundred and fifty thousand because there is no reason for you to be operating a motor vehicle and you were never issued a license now if your license has expired that's a different story but if you were never issued a driver's license then i agree the fine should be high but what we were saying in the previous video is if you have a driver's license and it's a valid driver's license and you are stopped by the police and you don't have that driver's license on you you are issued a ticket for two thousand dollars so what we were saying is with the technology that exists today the police can put your name in the system and a picture of your driver's license comes up your entire driving history comes up so there really isn't any reason for you to be issued a ticket for two thousand dollars because the police can verify that it is you because the picture of the driver's license comes up your entire driving history comes up and a car that's lies that's registered to you will come up so they have all the information because the technology now exists so that is why we were saying to give somebody a ticket for two thousand dollars for not having their physical driver's license on them is a bit excessive now a lot of persons commented which is good because we get a lot of feedback so thank everybody for the comments but that's what we were talking about read the read the excessive driving tickets so there are a few other there is another um, law or that has come into place now and it is if you break down on the road your car breaks down you are supposed to put a sign at the back of your car to I guess let other motorists know that your car has broken down and if you don't you can be fined up to ten thousand dollars but like that thing they had done with the car seats i'm not sure how practical that is going to be in jamaica because persons don't have those signs i mean i've been driving in jamaica for years and i've never I've never seen one of those signs in a car, much less on the road. So that is something that I think the government should look at. Mark you, I get where they're coming from. Your car breaks down, you put out the sign, but it's not something that is used very frequently in Jamaica. I come to think of it, I can't remember ever seeing it. All right, we're trying to find a way out of here to, because there's so much traffic on Hagley Park Road. 
but I'm just giving you an example of some of the tickets the fines that they have that are just not very feasible for Jamaica so I guess by now everybody would have heard of the child seat one where they were saying if you have a child under the age of 12 they must be in a car seat which is very good because car seats have proven to save lives but if it's your vehicle and your child then yes you should definitely have the car seat but what happened was the police were enforcing this law against taxi operators and one taxi operator was taking three children to school and he got three tickets for five thousand dollars each because he did not have the car seat so it's not it was not feasible for that law to be implemented for re public passenger vehicles so the government decided to change that law so you no longer need a car seat for a taxi if you're carrying a child under 12 i think it still remains for your personal car which is good but like when children are going to school in a taxi they don't need the car the taxi doesn't need a car seat so some of the laws make sense i mean but some of the fines are just i would say not suitable for the jamaican environment and that's what we were saying in the other video but i want to thank everybody for their feedback so we're just doing a follow-up video basically all right for those of you who want to know where we are we are in the richmond park area we just came off hagley park road that's the road that had all that traffic so we're trying to find an alternate route So this road has a traffic on it so this must be the way out as everybody is trying to find the alternate route like we are Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.